desert and go and see the sights. We got here last night and you know we were able to have a little walk around the streets and we saw all the Christmas lights which were really nice and so now we're kind of going back around during the day. Put <laughs> hair in your mouth. Thank you. Now we're kind of going back around during the day to see everything properly. We just had breakfast. We found a nice little cafe. This is uh, Piazza dei Cavalieri. There's the, the famous uh, Scuola Normale di Pisa. At least in Italy is famous for being uh, a super well renowned, uh, renewed, renowned, renowned school. It is very pretty. Like I don't know the it's very fancy. the architecture, like the decoration is really really nice. Stop, which is essentially like the complex of the it's, it's tower. Called Piazza dei Miracoli. Piazza dei Miracoli. It's essentially where the tower is, but also there's lots of other stuff here, like a cathedral and what other things are there? Uh, bap baptistery, cathedral, yeah. tower, Campo Santo is like a basic cemetery. Okay. Um, a museum. Ah, oh, the museum. <laughs> and. Uh, a palace. But you can get like a range of different ticket types essentially depending, maybe we can go on this way, essentially depending on how much you want to do. The thing that makes the tickets the most expensive is you can pay to climb up to the top of the tower and that adds like a good 10, 20 euros onto every yeah. ticket. Otherwise you can do like a combination. Yeah, you can do everything except the tower for 10 for euros. 10. If you want to include the tower, 27 euros. Yeah, it adds quite a lot. But like we figured, we're probably not going to come back to Pisa or if we do, I don't know, we don't have plans to come back to Pisa. Yeah. While we're here, we may as well climb the tower because it's such a famous thing. So we've got the ticket that is everything. So we have like a, an entry slot for the tower, which is at 12 and we have like maybe half an hour to kill. So we're going to try and check off a couple things before that. So we'll head into the cathedral now, I think. So we're in the cathedral at the moment. I don't know, it's like, it's beautiful, right? Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the architecture and everything is absolutely insane. It's massive as well. Yeah, I don't know if the video will be just as well. Yeah. It's really, really big. It's like colossal. Um, Manu was saying that it took them hundreds of years to... Like not 100, like, I don't know, centuries to, to finish, finish this place, yeah. which is just crazy. But I mean, you can tell like it's insanely pretty mm -hmm. so and like there's all this art behind us sorry my i'm having to film on my phone because my other camera is a bit broken with the sound but you can't quite appreciate it as much on the phone i don't think but it's really beautiful there is a nice nativity scene and um manu has taught me that in italy like they just won't put jesus in the nativity until the 25th of december but they have all the nativity scene, just without Jesus. Yeah, but just because, according to the tradition, Jesus wasn't born before the 25th. Or it was born on the 25th. But like, this nativity so. is of the 25th. So it doesn't make sense that there's not Jesus here. It's not like this is days before or something. I don't know, they're all gathered around like an empty manger. I find it quite funny. I don't know. Now I've noticed I, I, it everywhere <laughs> we go as well, that like, there's just... There's no Jesus in any of them. It's really funny. Okay, we've climbed up to the top of the tower. It's crazy because like it does feel wonky. Yeah, you know, like it's when you're climbing, yeah. Like when you're climbing up, you really feel the difference in like the, the angle. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a long climb up. The stairs were quite a lot, mm -hmm. but it's really like the views at the top are really nice over the cathedral and everything. It's really pretty. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything to measure the angle on my yeah. inclination. Yeah. Four degrees. Four degrees, it says. It's crazy.
So where we are now, I think is literally a cemetery, right? Mm -hmm. It's so called like, Campo Santo, which means uh, holy field. Oh, that's fun. We've been up the tower. We we had some time to take some nice photos. You know, the classic like <laughs> holding up the tower. We we took some of those, <laughs> so we're all good. We've got the Instagrams, I think. <laughs> now gonna explore the other things to see. One of which is this, which is the cemetery. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we just had some lunch. We stopped at a cute little restaurant and got some pasta. And now we're trying a. Is this a thing from Pisa or Tuscany? Pisa. Pisa? What is it? It's called schiacciata con cecina. Schiacciata is a sort of panino. See. With like the bread, is like a mixture between focaccia and pizza bread. Mm -hmm. And cecina is a sort of a small cake made with uh, chickpeas. Yeah. And that's it. And that's is in the middle. I am. And is it warm? It's nice. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's Palazzo Blu. Uh, it's a, an art gallery. There's a few different exhibitions here. The most famous one is Keith Haring. Is it Keith Haring or Haring? Haring. Same. Keith Haring. He did a lot of like the little figures and things. So they have an exhibition of, of him here. We're only doing the, the permanent collection and one of the other exhibits because the Keith Haring one was I think 10 euros each and to be honest, we're not that bothered, so we decided not to do that. This one you've just seen, the one that's behind me, it's called Quantum Jungle. It's supposed to be influenced by quantum physics. And you can like, I don't know, touch it. It does things. 